How's it going everybody? Nick or Pro here and uh, holy stromboli, uh, it is 9.30 at night on a Saturday and uh, the leaking scene has decided to drop probably the biggest leak that I have ever seen for a Call of Duty game, uh, especially considering the fact that some of them are uh, yeah, two years before the game uh, comes out. Uh, this leak did not just include Modern Warfare 2 stuff. It also included stuff from Treyarch's supposed title dropping in 2024. Alrighty, so how the heck did this happen? Well, from my understanding, leakers have gone ahead and data mined the APK for the Warzone mobile uh, build. Basically, there is a private build for Warzone mobile that has been leaking for the past couple of months now, and I'm gonna go on a whim here and assume that the APK was not supposed to leak like that uh, and people have gotten their hands on it that know how to reverse engineer or mess with uh, these APKs and basically decompile them and it looks like they've been holding on to a lot of information that was in the Warzone mobile build. Uh, how Modern Warfare 2 and COD 2024 stuff is in this is beyond me. My best guess is that, and this is probably not right, but who knows. Basically, right now, all of the Call of Duty Studios, and this has been confirmed, are on the Infinity Ward engine now, which means there is a master branch of that engine, and that's where Treyarch and Infinity Ward uh, can basically take a fork off of that engine, which is kind of like a turn in the road, and they can take wherever the engine is at that point, wherever the core kind of development is, and they can fork it. They can basically copy the whole thing and uh, go off and build a brand new game or build whatever they want to build with it, be an app like Warzone Mobile or a brand new game. So when they fork off of the engine, there could be leftover code, there could be uh, concept art, images and stuff of work in progress stuff from the other studios. So my best guess is that when they forked off for Warzone Mobile, uh, it just so happened that they also managed to get some images from Modern Warfare 2 and whatever's coming out in COD 2024, and it just got left over in the assets of the game, so on and so forth. Uh, in my opinion, I don't think it's a big deal that they left this in the code. I don't think the developers actually thought that the build of the game was going to leak, and I definitely don't think they thought that people would reverse engineer it. Uh, but here we are today with actual images of, I would say, loading screens or concept art of maps coming in Modern Warfare 2. Some of them have been uh, kind of explained by content creators that have played the game before. Obviously, I'm not showing you the images, and the images are probably going to be wiped off the face of the internet very, very soon. I could talk about what I'm looking at, but I'm definitely not going to show you the images for multiple things. One, my ass. Two, it's a leak. And three, it's copyrighted content. Uh, and it'll be taken down virtually immediately. And also, I think for the developers, uh, it definitely sucks that any type of concept art would get out of the game this early, especially for COD 2024, because things can change drastically. It's just concept art or it's just a loading screen. Uh, you don't want to set a precedent for marketing this early. They could scrap the whole game and start all over again, and in two years we could end up with a game that's set in, like, the 90s, when everybody's like, oh, well, it was supposed to be futuristic, when they didn't even have, like, a semi-completed build of a game that was supposed to take place in 20, you know, 30 or whatever, you know, just giving an example, and they went off and made another game. So people kind of get stuck on the what ifs with game development when they kind of don't focus on the uh they spent three years working on the game and early on they thought hey this would be a cool idea and they worked like 0.05 percent on the way to that game and uh they, they didn't go with it so uh marketing wise and precedent wise uh, i think people are really toxic towards uh game developers and that's just my personal opinion uh but getting into uh these images that are all over right now they'll definitely get deleted soon uh this guy's just spilling stuff over and over again uh in terms of images and a whole map list uh first of all 
they say there is a grand prix map it looks like an f1 racing track it's really bright it's really vibrant uh it looks super cool who knows it could be for gunfight it could be a regular map but overall it looks really pretty there's an oil field map once again we've got more vibrant colors we've got kind of cooler blues and brighter oranges slash yellows and we've also got uh, a really good lighting coming in from the sun so uh, it looks like they're looking into visibility i don't see much with like dark maps and i don't see a lot of uh, dark corners so it looks like infinity ward is most likely going to be taking the approach of uh, beauty and visibility in this game there's another mission or another level called museum and it's a very pretty museum it's kind of got a i would say like almost hmm, like think of like rome almost it's got very nice uh kind of brickery and uh it's very it's very modern i should say actually so i wouldn't say rome but it's very modern looking map uh and everything's very cubical so uh it's very pleasing to my ocd eyes for sure there's another map that only has a code name saba uh it kind of reminds me of a call of duty 4 map i can't really think of the name of the map right now but uh it was a square it was really small and there was like a statue in the middle if you know what i'm talking about it had like an overlook it reminds me a lot like that uh there's a giant statue of a guy riding on a horse in the middle uh and that one's a really nice uh really attractive kind of map and uh the colors on this are a little more dim there's a lot more browns and grays but overall i would say that it definitely looks brighter than a lot of the modern warfare 2019 maps scrolling through a little more it says uh there's something from treyarch's next game uh this kind of looks like more of a roman kind of uh building it looks like a very old kind of uh it's actually a beautiful building it's got art all over it's got a guy kind of shooting a bow and an arrow on one of the uh murals on the side uh and it's got a very like kind of italian uh aesthetic to it very pretty but once again that's definitely concept art for treyarch's 2024 title and just scrolling through a little more uh fish town also it looks like a ground war map we've got a shore we've got a tower uh that People could probably sit on but i mean it's ground war and not uh war zone so the health pool will probably be a lot lower which means that people on that tower will be super exposed and it doesn't look like it's anything like atc uh it's definitely got a lot of exposed areas uh so plenty of room for you to get sniped off or shot off uh there's also another map called sierra and uh this one once again we've got bright colors almost looks like a mall it's got some nice palm trees in the front uh it looks really pretty we've got a few kind of grays in the outside but it looks like uh for the most part with the inside of the map it's nice bright vibrant colors and then as you go further outside of the map uh outside of the playable area it gets a little more grayscale. uh so it looks like they have a focus kind of just keeping you in what's going on there's another one that looks like it's in the streets of uh, some South American town or maybe even Mexico. Uh, actually, it does say Mexicano on one part of it. Uh, this one is a concept art for one of the maps. It could be concept art for campaign for all I know. Uh, but this one's really pretty. It's like the streets of of Mexico. Uh, just, you know, take whatever image in your mind that you have. And uh, it's super colorful, super bright, super vibrant. Uh, but that's just concept art uh let's see what else farm 18 this looks like the map that the content creators were talking about that they played on this one's very nice it's got a bit of shrubbery on it uh but this is probably the most reminiscent of a modern warfare 2019 map that i have seen so far but uh other than that it's kind of what's been leaked so far there's probably going to be more assuming that uh over the next couple of minutes that uh Activision doesn't strike down everything and remove this guy's account, which will most definitely happen. Uh, yeah, guys. So this is probably the worst leak in the history of COD, uh, only because it sets like a dangerous precedent for people. Because I think people are going to get super excited. People are going to start formulating opinions over COD 2024 already, which is great. But people are definitely going to have weird expectations going in and they probably will not be met so once again take everything with a grain of salt these are concept art images these are not like in-game images so anything can happen anything can change anything's bound to change but overall we just have to be careful and we have to be cautious 
uh, over these leaks. But uh, for Treyarch, I feel bad for them again. Once again, they seem to be screwed over with leaks. And they've been screwed over with game development. Black Ops 4 didn't have a campaign and they had to focus on a battle rail. And that BR only lasted one year until it was completely overtaken by Modern Warfare's Warzone. And then it was left to die pretty much. And it still has a paywall on it. It's not free to play. And then they had to release Cold War an entire year early because Sledgehammer could not finish their title. And on top of that, now Vanguard is out. They are doing the zombies for Sledgehammer games on top of League Play. So not only did they have to finish their game an entire year early, they also had to help out the people that made it so their game had to come out a year early when that studio got an extra year of development and they still needed to help them and i'm not shitting on sledgehammer games i know a lot of terrible things been going on in terms of uh their heads leaving the studio and the studio just being complete turmoil after michael condry and glenn schofield left so uh yeah it's kind of just tough tough scenes for those two studios but uh, Modern Warfare 2 is definitely shaping up to be a wonderful game. And I think that uh, if you are going to be overly excited for any Call of Duty title in the near future, I would definitely put uh, a lot of the weight on Modern Warfare 2. And uh, once again, that's probably why Activision is going to be super vigilant with these leaks and strike them all down. Uh, hopefully not this video because I was just talking about it. Granted, uh, obviously this is just information. I, I don't think it could be copyright striked. Uh, hopefully it can't. Uh, definitely it can't. Uh, definitely falls in fair use but uh, that's just my opinion so uh, i know i'm going off on a bit of a rant here kind of having like a like a little talk show but uh yeah guys don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you guys haven't already and uh, i'll see you in the next one and i'm really excited for modern warfare 2 man uh i i really just want to play all of the content that the game has to offer and hopefully the beta will come sooner rather than later